Hello everyone, this will be a video tutorial on the Tournament Reliable Partner. So right now it's on the training stage. We will be telling how this tournament uh, looks like and what you have to do here. Now here the map I have is my lands. Now here you see at the start I have my own base and also an ally base. So you see the allies building order is different and ally don't collect resources they just build bases their way. So I will not be using any boost this time. I will uh, try to play no boost because uh, this will make things more difficult for me and it's only on training stage so it's better that I don't use boost. Okay so first let's uh, proceed with the resource collection system because this is going to be a very long battle so I did not know that a big containers that is uh, found even in this tournament and the big containers you see all the sites every time the site for the big container will be at the middle this guy is scouting my base and we scouted this is the enemy allied base and this is the enemy base alright so now going to HQ level 3 and the enemy collected the first big container but now I am trying to take control over the middle center because this is a high ground and this is the place where resources are given and if the enemy uh, ally attacks then the enemy ally will be on the lower ground so you will have the advantage of the higher ground so taking control of the middle point is very important especially in this map and in this tournament so here the ally of mine is trying to attack the enemy ally just to have finished up two infantry that's all nothing more than that and here the enemy ally the yellow units you see those so these are the enemy allied units i'm producing hammers and uh, assaults right now although i have h level 3 but because the enemy of mine is mostly using infantry grenadiers so in order to cope up with that i need to produce lots of infantry and units other types of units so as i uh, scouted and the first scout using one fortress i found out there were more grenadiers and curries than any big units so I'm going to attack with uh, the initial smaller units now now if I go to the enemy base you see I also found out they also have issue level 3 and also dragonflies and also they are going to have porcupines with one special vehicle factory seven supply centers and three barracks for producing grenadiers because all the bar barracks are in level 2 so here the units production is still going on and here you see I'm going to take control of the middle point at all costs and what I'm doing right now is just uh, spreading out more and more construction yard and here you see the first attack from the enemy AI just came and I'm going to encounter all the attack of the AI myself that's what I decided to do and I will uh, this way I will just use my partner's AI uh, my allied AI to destroy this base or the enemy base so I will see what they do now here I'm trying to uh, totally uh, disrupt the unit supply of the enemy AI and here so my enemy just came and they're going to encounter not only my units also my bunkers so now they're forced to encounter these bunkers and they do have lots of grenadiers uh, dragonflies even porcupines but here my ally came and his ally i already took them down so now it's my chance and i'm going to attack them okay so they are killed and now we will take control of this resource container although this one vertex that came is trying to destroy my torrent mostly and here another attack came here with one Jaguar and it's you see it's a 12 minute and you'll see most of the time we did not attack the enemy AI base and so the enemy AI is able to develop uh, as likewise he can so there is no obstruction in the developments of the AI base and the AI will get stronger definitely and here my AI is also attacking and what he's trying to do he's trying to uh, attract the enemy by, by using sniper towers sniper towers has more range so he's trying to use the sniper tower so the enemy AI comes to him 
and he's going to take them on using the grenadiers because if he let these all these go here uh, his allied base might get destroyed so he took this and uh, having my construction here in the middle gives me some advantage and that is that I can use air defense instead of using uh, typhoons so I don't need typhoons I can spend all of my resources on the units and I can take uh, care of enemy hawks and even enemy uh, AI dragonflies using the air defense alright so this guy is still trying hard and producing mostly grenadiers and curies and also using hawks to uh, defend his base now you see what is going on this guy is trying hard to defend his allied base and we have now placed uh, quite a lot of defenses here now here come the yolo allied base uh, another wave of attack you see there are three jaguars already and two mammoths and also many other units so the number of units are uh, quite much they definitely uh, outnumbered our army almost by uh, you can say three to one Although uh, I had Jaguars, uh, I have uh, Zeus, but all the Zeus died. So here another attack is coming from my ally at the bottom of the yellow player space. And here my enemy also tried to make an attack on the green player space. All his units are here, but uh, these units are just uh, stopping at this point or will attack. Let's see. So these units are actually attacking. And here my ally is attacking and already managed to destroy a few of his buildings. Let's see how my ally attacks going to work. They destroyed one of the bunkers but however there are now the torrents are going to drop their missiles and there are also cyclones so definitely this attack will be a failure. But the thing is how much damage he can actually inflict upon the enemy AI of the, my, of the confederation side because confederation units on hit on hit power are uh, definitely more stronger and the bunkers are quite strong so here they, they manage to destroy some buildings of this AI and I am trying to go and destroy some buildings but uh, yeah that's not going to happen since there are sniper towers once they get closer the sniper towers will start firing on me and just lots of jaguars and other kinds of units are, has started coming okay so let's see so he's uh, still trying to de defend his base trying to make grenadiers and using hawks and sniper towers curies all these to defend his base mostly grenadiers for land units now here comes the another big attack now I tried to destroy this sniper using the fire assault however the sniper towers here are definitely quite troublesome so the mammoths here are actually being quite problematic for me so uh, taking control of the middle is good but definitely my uh, positioning of my buildings right at the doorstep of the enemy base isn't a very good choice all right so let's proceed with furthermore more allied attack and here my ally is attacking my enemy you see that uh, there he's also able to handle mostly handle these attacks however he's also taking some damages he's also losing grenadiers so it's not like the AI is easy both sides are losing quite a good number of units here I'm also trying to use my vertex to kill down because mostly the mammoths because the mammoths are being too problematic and my units have to come closer and once they come closer they get hit by these towers which is very annoying and I'm taking huge uh, heavy casualties although I'm uh, able to handle these attacks but the casualties that I'm taking is huge and you see how he's going to withstand the attack making a narrow passageway for here from here and uh, still his infantry has died and he's going to lose some buildings so confederation units are definitely much stronger and meanwhile if you see the resistance units they send a more uh, greater number of units because uh, comparatively resistance units are stronger so probably in order to 
balanced that balanced that out they just uh, gave resistance a bit more units than normal if they have equal number of units the resistance will uh, be badly losing anyway I will still destroy them and here the attack still continues and the and finally the red player is able to withstand the attack and I also finished up the attack on my side and again another wave coming no break for me and here also another attack is going to come uh, the confession units are a bit slower but of course uh, stronger better uh, firepower now I'm, I'm sending a lot of heavy assault but this sniper is a very problematic thing okay alright so again this guy got destroyed I mean uh, so far I'm uh, handling it well but uh, I think I'm also taking very high casualties so so here the enemy ally is going to attack at this point this time let's see he made a good defenses this time to counter any enemy attacks so getting far from enemy base is definitely very much useful for him and this guy has three four five six uh, hawks six fox so he has HQ level four already where I still have HQ level three I'm not using any boost and anyway I don't need a boost I already control the middle position and I have lots of defensive buildings to counter this hawks and I will keep on getting all the containers at the middle I am not uh, holding out this place with so many buildings and units for uh, without no reason I definitely have my reason to do that alright so the enemy hawks destroyed my hero just before it uh, managed to destroy this Jaguar so the choice of my units heavy assaults and uh, fire assaults uh, which I will do later uh, was mostly because of completing my contracts however they're if they're full upgrade they're useful all many kinds of uh, tactics could be used and here I will try to destroy some of these grenadiers uh, since uh, my allied units are dying I should make sure that some of his units also die so that it could be equal so we destroyed this hawk as well another wave will be coming I hope here because waves come too often okay we destroyed those uh, mammoths but more mammoths came and more another new wave a few units just came here alright using the heroes uh, active ability okay destroyed this mammoth and here another battle going on the cyclones are going to be very problematic for these grenadiers however I believe the cyclones will be killed by the hawks a very in a few moment and there are already many sniper towers to take care of these two cyclones okay so here the hawks came uh, how many typhoons they have they have one typhoon so against two hawks they might not be too much uh, of a big deal but if the hawks somehow move into my territory they will get hit by the air defense that I have so I'm going to use my vertex to just kill down some of his hawks this hawks barely having a low HP oh where is my vertex uh, probably I was uh, trying to counter some allied units enemy allied units so overall uh, you see that we did kill some of the enemy hawks so uh, if the battle goes on like this the battle you can say is a little bit on a equilibrium uh, however I'm playing no boost that might be the reason why it seems so hard to me if I had used some uh, common attack boost maybe during the engagement uh, then 
probably uh, the enemy units could have been finished much easier or a common defense boost uh, could help me out in defending my territory which I don't do I'm not doing at all although I have enough boost and I can afford them however I am just trying to test out how difficult will it be for me to play a normal battle without a boost All right, so many Jaguars were here and we just took down those Jaguars and unfortunately by mistake uh, went inside the base and got ourselves destroyed. Here again, the same thing will uh, keep happening. Same thing repeating on. And this time the Grenadiers are actually trying to attack the rocket tower uh, but did not uh, succeed in, in the, doing that. So the bot did attack in a crazy way because some of these uh, came here and some of these are now switching their position and attacking at this point so that's a little bit strange anyway attacking at this side did allow it to destroy some of the enemy buildings and here I uh, countered these and now I have bombers so what I did I just bombed here uh, just for scouting and found out that this guy to have no space system a uh, nuclear weapon that's what I was uh, worrying about if this guy had any uh, nuclear weapon then this guy could definitely put me under great pressure all right so what i'm going to do is just destroying their avia factory level two so they don't have any more hawks except this one this is his last hawk unless he makes any more so my air defense are now doing their work and the air defense is going to finish this off so he doesn't have any hawks to uh, support uh, his defending units with any more uh, air units because this guy only sent the ally only sent one typhoon so if he attacks with lots of hawks it's re re really very difficult for my allied units to do something about it and here I am countering against this allied units and having quite a lot of trouble fortunately the bombing was very successful with one bomber okay did not succeed in, in driving this out however if you see the confederation units are definitely much stronger because this guy lost lots of units and I have been defending uh, my territory with relatively uh, less number of units although the bunkers are very useful otherwise I could not have done that all right so we just uh, bombed here again and just destroyed some uh, barracks level 2 along with some uh, one power plant okay just uh, Air, air production blue boost I did not want to use it but just using it for my contract which says that I helped I'll have to use this boost four times okay so I just bombed here for destroying the defensive buildings first time and here still these attacks are very intensifying and since I have attacked this AI for quite a long time and I have uh, really weakened this AI at this moment a little bit at least they're not sending Jaguars don't know why uh, is that because they're spending their resources on build, rebuilding the base so they don't have Jaguar however my AI has been doing good because it's not being obstructed anyway because I am not allowing any ally unit to uh, enemy ally units to pass so my ally is not being under any kinds of attack so my ally is just uh, simply uh, attacking and doing very fine against the red player I could have finished the uh, red player myself at this moment by, uh, but I plan to destroy the uh, bot which uh, destroying it which would be much more difficult and also let, I would like to tell you that in order to just uh, totally demilitarize the bot you have to destroy every la last remaining buildings of the bot if there is one building surviving the bot will rebuild and st start sending units again but if you destroy all their buildings there will not be any more allied AI units so you can take help from your allied AI units so that will give you a huge advantage 
Okay, so I wanted to proceed the battle with furthermore by destroying more part of the uh, allied base. However, the red player just quit, uh, did quit the game finally. So that's how it ends.